Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Dr. Shivam's Academy. If you are walking into this little space for the first time, I am Dr. Shivam and I make videos on everything. In my previous video, we discussed that if you are living with someone who has COVID-19 infection or if you suspect someone in your family or your friends or your roommates with whom you share your room to have COVID-19 symptoms, then how do you take care of them? But at the same time, you also need to protect yourself from the virus. In that video, I told you 15 different ways in order to help and take care of the person who has been infected from COVID-19 while keeping yourself safe. If you haven't watched that video, then make sure you go and watch that video as well. Share with your friends and if you know someone who is taking care of their family members who are affected with COVID-19 or their friends or roommates, then make sure you send them this video and ask them to watch because that video is going to help each and everyone who is taking care of a COVID-19 patient. In today's video, we're going to talk about the different ways to protect yourself if at all someone in your family or at home is infected from COVID-19. So, if you live with someone who has COVID-19 infection and you are worried that you might get affected from the virus, then guys, this video is for you. Do watch the video till the end and protect yourself from the virus. Living with someone who has COVID-19 infection can be stressful and at the same time it can put you at risk of contacting the virus guys don't worry there are many ways to protect yourself while helping the person you live with learning that someone you live with has been tested positive for covid 19 can be a concern it can cause concern to both of you this is an important situation to consider because we know that the household members have a roughly 50% chances of risk of infection when somebody in their family or somebody they live with has been infected. In order to help and care for the person who is infected from COVID-19 while keeping yourself safe, consider the following 8 tips that I am going to give you here. The first tip is to get yourself tested for COVID-19. If someone in your home has been tested positive for COVID-19, then make sure to go and get a COVID molecular test that is nothing but RT-PCR test as soon as possible. However, even if the test reports are negative, it does not rule out the early infection. Guys, when the viral loads are below the level of detection, then the results always show negative. That is nothing but a false negative. Sensitivity of the test increases dramatically after 5 to 7 days of the exposure of infection. So, it's better to obtain a second RT-PCR during or after that window. And if you do not prefer to be tested, then quarantine yourself for 14 days as long as you do not develop any COVID-19 symptoms. Household members and the primary and secondary contacts of the sick patient should be assumed as positive. Second tip is to limit contact with that person. The person who has COVID-19 should be separated from others in the home and he should have a separate bedroom and a bathroom that no one else uses. Everyone in the household should stay six feet away from that person who has been tested positive for COVID-19. The person with COVID-19 should be quarantined for a minimum period of 14 days from the onset of the symptoms or from the day he was tested positive. And yes, if at all he has severe symptoms, then this period of quarantine can be increased. You can still take care of that person, but you need to enter their room only if it is absolutely necessary. Even while you enter the room to provide them with food and drinks, Make sure to avoid prolonged contact in that room. The third tip is to keep the windows open. To improve ventilation in your living place and for the air to circulate in and out, make sure to open all the windows 
as much as tolerable. This is especially very important because in indoors the virus can still remain in the air in the form of very small droplets which can potentially infect others who are living in that household. The fourth tip is to wear a mask. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC states that if a person is infected from COVID-19, then he should wear a mask whenever he is around others. And anyone who is living around them should also wear a mask or cover their face, mouth and nose with a cloth. The mask helps to contain the respiratory infections from mouth and nose of the infected person. At the same time, it protects individuals from being affected. Although wearing mask does not guarantee you 100% protection against the virus that causes you COVID-19, but at least it can reduce your chances of being infected. A surgical mask is good, particularly if it is sealed well. A cloth mask is better than nothing. Wearing goggles when you are near the person with COVID-19 can protect you from getting the virus directly into the mucous membrane of the eyes. A fifth tip is to wash your hands and disinfect the surfaces. Wash your hands often with hot water and soap for at least 20 seconds, especially when you have been near the person who is sick. Use hand sanitizers that contain at least 60% or more than 60% alcohol if soap and water is not readily available. Avoid touching your face, your mouth or your nose with unwashed hands. Guys, washing hands is helpful and it also makes a lot of sense when you are around a sick person. At the same time, it is also important for the sick person to wash their hands thoroughly. It is also important to clean and disinfect the high touched surfaces and items quite often which includes your furniture, sofas, television, the handles of the cabinets, refrigerators, TV remotes, light switches to name a few. Coming to the sixth tip is to eat healthy. Talk to your doctor whether you need to take any supplements or not. However, what's more important is to have a healthy diet and avoid weight gain that is so easy to experience during this time of stress and uncertainty. We know that certain health conditions predispose a person for COVID-19 complication and a lot of those health conditions can be addressed by change in lifestyle. Adults with certain underlying medical conditions are at a greater risk of being infected from COVID-19. Having a healthy diet makes your body metabolically more healthy and guys, that makes a difference. The seventh tip is to rely on trusted sources. Although it is quite tempting to listen to your friends, family members or the information that is being spread on social media, Listen only to the trusted resources or the trusted sources which are backed by the experts when it comes to any information or any recommendations on COVID-19. There's a lot of misinformation on social media and internet that recommends everything from taking massive doses of vitamin tablets to hot showers which they say that it is effective against COVID-19 infection. Most of these suggestions are either unproven or debunked and some can even be dangerous. Turn on the sources such as World Health Organization or the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention. The eighth tip is to talk to a friend. Friends and family can be great for expressing your feelings during this difficult times. If you had a household contact test positive for COVID-19, it's normal and natural to experience a variety of emotions, including fear, anxiety, depression, loneliness, which can be profound and debilitating. 
speaking about and expressing these feelings to your friends and relatives can be very cathartic and it can also improve your physical and emotional well-being that's all for today's video by the end of this video now you all know what you need to do to protect yourself from being infected stay tuned with my youtube channel and guys if you want any information on coronavirus or the covid vaccines that are available currently then watch my other videos on my youtube channel dr shivam's academy i'll put the link to all my videos in the description box so that it becomes quite easy for you to see the videos guys please do share this video with your friends and family members and also to those people who you know is living with someone who has been infected from covid-19 if you like my video then do click the like button and also comment your doubts whatever you have in your mind your doubts or queries or anything then do comment your question in the comment section and yeah if you haven't subscribed my channel dr shivam's academy then make sure you go and subscribe the channel and also hit the bell icon so that you get notifications to all my videos till then stay safe take care of yourself and your family members i'll catch you later in the next video thank you guys